Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Spy Family Chapter 107. But before we get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And uh, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And uh, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And uh, we ain't sponsored by Viz. Like, considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my bad little kitty over there, Zeno! Get down from there, you bad cat! Bad! And this operation literally alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news analysis or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and pay pal links are in the description box below as well as the link to our patreon where we are doing our anime live reaction content because Unlike YouTube, where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike for showing anything on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about it. So we can have our full setup of the anime and manga side by side and have the audio to boot, which is not only great for busting a botched localization or two, but it's fantastic for when we cover anime original content, like, say, Dragon Ball Daima or for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Um, we do have the first episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War available for free on Patreon. So you do get a really good idea on how we do um, our live reactions over there. And the more uh, views and subscribers we get over on Patreon, the more anime we will cover. And um, if you're a $10 tier subscriber, you get to choose the series we cover as well. And that does include the um, next season of Spy Family. Um, that's right, Kitty, it does. There's a stack ball anime season that has begun and more on the way. So please check out our Patreon. The link is in the description box below. So, oh, come here, Mr. Man. Oh. So last chapter of Spy Family, we had a Desmond family chapter. And we got to see uh, the family sit around the table. And, and that does include Papa Desmond, who... I think what he was doing was um, checking out the stats of the family to see where they were at. Uh, where he knows something is up with Mama Desmond. He knows. And, he, um, and something going on with, with Damien. He knows. He knows he needs to break him. He does. Because the rest of the, because, you know, the other son, he knows. He knows he's okay. He don't have to worry about him. But Damien, he knows he has to break. He does. Right, Kitty? Right. But anyways, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us today. Ooh, a festival! Yay! Um, let's see. Her heart dances in the crowd. Uh... Berlin's annual um, winter sheep festival, a fine opportunity for Anya to have some fun during her school vacation. Um, that's my pretext for bringing her anyway. here anyway. Uh, oh, poor Anya's like, yeah, god damn it. Uh, the Lady Patriots uh, Society helped organize uh, this event, just as they did uh, the charity bazaar for disabled veterans. So there's a significant possibility that Melinda Desmond will make an appearance. Well, Melinda is uh, not a priority um, surveillance target, I'd be remiss to pass up a chance to advance Plan C, the Your Melinda Mommy Friendship uh, Scheme. Oh, um, I completely forgot that I was at, a, uh, at war with Mama in the Battle of the Friendship Schemes. With Plan C going so smoothly, I can finally abandon Anya. Yeah, no, he's not going to abandon you, Anya, just stop. You're a backup plan. Aw, poop. I'll just have to make friends with Scion Boy so I can learn all his family secrets first. But she confessed to him! I mean... And speaking of Scion Boy, look at that boss man. They got a whole traveling carnival over there. This festival stuff is for little kids. Shut up, Damien! Look at all the food stands. It's cold and I'm bored. Let's just go home. I may have failed to mention this, Master Damien, but the Lady Patriot Society is volunteering at the festival. What? So, my mother's here too? Um, that may well be the case, too. That, yeah. 
Of course, that would get Davian, like, excited. Um, I don't know, boss man. It seems kind of embarrassing to be with your mommy at a place like this. Yeah, true. Hmm. Oh, oh, Simon Boy and his henchlings. Ta his henchlings. What the heck are you doing here? This isn't a place for the peasantry. Oh, shut up, you stupid dummies. Land B is not looking so good. Watch your language, Anya. Oh, no, that's right. I need to play up our friendship. Hello, Damien. Hello, Damien's friends. Here, Simon Boy, you can have the leaf you loaned me. It was a really great leaf. Thanks again. Because friends borrow things from each other. I never loaned you a leaf. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't have any garbage you just picked up off the ground. Seize your attempts to tarnish Damien with your garbage, scoundrel. Yeah, stop acting like the shabby commoner you are. Your master, um, our deepest apologies. That was most ungentlemanly. Why, why, this is an adorable young lady, is she not? And her clothes suit her well. Thank you, henchlings, henchlings. <laughs> Thank you, henchlings, henchlings. Hey, now. We should be apologizing after uh, how my daughter behaved at orientation. Ah, so you must be the Forger family I've heard so much about. On behalf of our charges, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Oh, not at all. We should be thanking you. These men must be um, in service to the Desmond, um, uh, Eggerberg, and uh, Elman families. Yep. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to forge a connection with them. Um, insight on their natures could prove certain opportunities. Yep. Having those connections is really important. The reason being is, uh, um, especially if there's resentment towards um, their bosses, especially on the Desmond side of things, yeah, um, you could get some good uh, secrets. Yes. Um, and Papa goes straight to work. I figured with Melinda being involved in the event, her son might be with her, but it doesn't seem as though they came together. Melinda did come uh, personally to pick up Damien after the bus hijacking, but... Perhaps she entrusts his day-to-day -day care to this butler. It's important to uh, both plans uh, B and C that I have a, a firm understanding as to the degree of intimacy shared between members of the Desmond family. Um, uh, wait, ending that. Oh, uh, clack, clack, clack. Uh, um, calculation sounds. Uh-oh. That's what that is. Okay. Anya, is that you? Becky! Yay! I can't believe how often we've been running into each other lately. Well, it's because our brain goo is totally at sick. Uh, I might put that a little more elegantly, but I do love the sentiment. Well, 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 at last we meet, Mr. Forger. My daughter has told me so much about you. The honor is all mine, Mr. Blackwell. Now this is a connection that's important. Um, Byron Blackwell, CEO of Blackwell um, Heavy Industries. I've yet to see even a hint of anything suspicious in terms of his connection to the Desmond Group, nor have I seen the um, movement of money and materials that would indicate an imminent military expansion. That said, it wouldn't hurt to establish a closer relationship. Straight to work. But no, this is definitely an important connection, because remember what we saw in the flashback, um, Martha's connection to uh, um, how she met with um, the Black Bells. I'm still leaning towards the theory that when shit hits the fan, that uh, um, they're going to use the Black Bell connections to uh, help the Forgers and probably Mama and uh, Damien Desmond to escape. And probably Becky, too, because Becky's going to have to probably flee as well. I just got that feeling. I got a feeling Pop... Oh, God. I wonder if Papa Black Bell's going... I wonder if he might die in all this, because that is a possibility. Want to look around together? Um, in fact, I've heard uh, rumors uh, uh, that you're um, that you're seducing her. Dude, you said this? Um, oh yes. Um, wait, that's a big misunderstanding. No, seriously, Becky, what are you telling your dad? As grateful as I am for the opportunity to get to know the Black Bells, I can't help but feel um, disappointed that we're not getting closer to Damien. Papa, shut up already! Hmm. Um, well, if it isn't my schoolmates from Class 3. Uh, hey, geez, um, even you came to this thing? <laughs> Everyone is welcome at City Festivals, Damien, uh, son of Chairman Desmond. Classmate of yours? That's right, Daddy. Um, Major Wesley, um, Watkins for the National People's, uh, Army Command. Of course, one can never uh, have too much information about milita uh, military movements, but even with a personal, uh, uh, the clack, clack, clack going on, personal relationship, obtaining that sort of intel would be extremely difficult. 
The risk that my interest might arouse would be too great. But if I were to carefully lay the groundwork in a prudent and respectful fashion, it is possible that one day, uh, straight to work. <laughs> um, so there would be benefits from uh, being friends with him too. Well, yeah, dude, everyone's here today. Um, so there, uh, let's see. Hello again, mean grown man who throws uh, balls at kids. Hello again to you, Miss Forger. Uh, please uh, recall that I only do that uh, during dodgeball competitions. Also, I'm the same age as you. Wait, what? Um, my whole class is here. Um, George, right? What was that long pause before you remember my name? Seriously? Why, if it isn't the young son of... Uh, wait, it, wait, if it isn't... I can't fucking talk this morning. I'm sorry. Why if it isn't the young son of the Desmond family? Thank you for all the kindness you've shown George during um, this difficult phase of his life. Um, Dennis Glumen, uh, former CEO of Glumen Pharmaceuticals before it was bought out by the Desmond Group. I don't see any useful intel I could gain from him. Oh, that's mean. Um, actually, you might be able to gain some intel about what happened, like, right before he was bought out. Huh? Oh, I can tap him on the shoulder because she felt bad for him. That's sad. Oh, that's on your uh, Fortune and the other kids from class three, huh? Oh, it really is. The Black Mountain Desmond kids, too. Whoa, those are them? I am Forger, right? Um, what an honor to meet the hero of the bus hijacking. We're the Smiths. Uh, we're the Smiths. My son is in uh, class four. And we're the Johnsons. Hero? My child um, owes you his life. I couldn't possibly thank you enough. So much potential intel! Uh, parliamentary secretaries, police leadership, central banks, executives, and more. It's all thanks to me. See, Anya, he's not getting rid of you. Uh, connection overload. <laughs> um, are you Anya's parents? What a brave little girl you've raised. Even now, just thinking about what happened uh, since my heart racing. Me too, I still have nightmares about it. These are perfectly normal reactions for parents. Um, if you're experiencing any troubling physical or mental um, effects from this trauma, please don't hesitate to visit me at the hospital. Dude, Lloyd, you got the right job, I swear. If I may be so bold, are Mr. Desmond's parents not with him today at the festival? My apologies, sir, but I'm merely the young master's attendant and not privy to the details of his father's schedule. Ah, is that so? I had hoped to thank him in person, but I guess, but I guess, uh, no way would he tell you, even if he did know. Dude, he ain't stupid. Indeed, our company owes the Desmonds a great debt as well. Go on, thank him too. Or er, thank you very much. And ours too. I will be sure to convey your respects. Wow, Forger, your family is uh, sure is popular. Yours too, Damien. Don't uh, group my family in with the commoners. Oh, shut up, Damien. Um, hey, boss man, let's show them who's in charge over there. Uh, oh, the ring toss? Sure, why not? Okay, girls, uh, the rule is whoever loses at ring at the ring toss has to leave the festival grounds. Yeah, get lost. Cease this at once, Master Davian. If that's how you want it, you're on. Hey, you can't just make up rules like that. You don't own this festival. My beautiful daughter is right. She's the star of this festival, not you. <laughs> I can't, Dad. Cease this at once, Mr. Blackmail. A most unwelcome development. I stand to lose regardless of who wins. Uh, perhaps there is some way I can engineer a tie. I want to get in on this, too. Me, too. Me, too. Son, um, you must fight every battle as if the bridge has been burned behind for, uh, burned behind you. Challenge them knowing that you must withdraw from Eden Academy should you fail. Oh, that's fucked up. Yes, Daddy. Can we not? I don't need people bringing that level of intensity. I'll never risk changing schools. Never. Master, can you teach me the secrets to claiming victory at the ring toss? Um, well, let's see. Becky, your papa's right here. Why don't you ask me? Man, Forger's mom is actually really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> now they notice. Um, didn't we hear she broke in her neck? Um, what? Are you paying attention? Watch me win this. Papa's watching too. Papa's watching too, sweetie. This is, uh, growing tiresome. Double slash. Not cool. Uh, double slash. Another masterful secret move, boss man. Another. Oh, does she hit her in the face? She hit, she hit Danny in the face. That's funny. You did that on purpose, you little. My hand slipped. You leave Anya alone. She was doing her best. <laughs> the butlers are laughing. It's like, dude, you had this shit coming. Um, we don't have the privilege of observing our charges at school, so it's quite a relief to get to see them playing with school chums and forging bonds of friendship. 
Certainly is. <laughs> Dude, David's face. He's like, you fucker. He got a black eye, too. Um, I never thought I'd see the day when Master Damien could truly be himself around kids other than Edwin and um, Emil. Anya really does seem to have exceeded my expectations in terms of forming strong personal connections at school. Well done. As far as my mission goes, this may even um, end up paying unexpected. Uh, how, how I hope these children are able to remain forever unburdened um, by the statures and uh, standpoints of their parents and continue seeking out their own happiness of their own accord. It may not be my place to hope for such things, but I cannot help but wish it all the same. Aww. Well, my ears are certainly burning. Uh, you could say that again. And yet here I am. Yeah, Lauren is now feeling kind of guilty. Yep. But I think the, like, I think the butler, I'm very curious. Do you think he knows about Lloyd? I don't think he, I don't think he does. I don't think so. Maybe. But I think he is hinting at, he's obviously talking about the burden that Damien has. Part of me is like, I think he does kind of know about Lloyd to an extent. But the other part of me is like, I think he, he, this, I still think this is foreshadowing about uh, when shit hits the fan and Lloyd is going to help Damien get, uh, get out of, uh, um, uh, Astania. I just have this feeling. Yes, I won! No, I lost! Uh, rules are rules. Out with you now. Yeah, exits that way. I wasn't able to show Papa I can make friends with Sion, boy. Uh, plan B is over. Uh huh. Oh, you see? Dear me, how how will we handle this, Master Damien? Oh, Damien feels guilty! And he's flushing! Uh, okay, okay, fine. I'll be nice and let you stay. Just go back so I don't gotta see you. That simply won't do, Master Damien. The eyes of a statesman must ever be observing the common folk. The common folk? <laughs> Therefore, let us take this opportunity to remain in the company of your school friends. Hey, you don't get to decide that. Did you yourself not um, arbitrarily create a new rule just moments ago? Uh. Aw. Now, isn't that nice uh, for both of us? <laughs> oh, look, Anya. A hall of clairvoyance. Want to go in? Claire who? They could tell if uh, people are compatible with their lovers. Damn, the look at Damien's face! He's like, what? for Spy Family Manga. So, hmm. I wonder if that's why the ship would be moving. But damn, that look on Daniel's face! When, um, and I, hold on, was Becky looking at, uh, at Damien when she says this? Or kind of like glancing at him? I feel like she kind of is, but dude, let, let me hear this again. Oh, look, Anya, a hall of clairvoyants want to go in. Claire who? They can tell if people are compatible with their lovers. Damn that look that he's making! He's just like, what? And he's full on flushing? Damn! Yes! The ship! The fucking ship! We are goddamn winning! While they're busy in there, perhaps we can relax a, a spell in that beer garden we just passed. Yeah! I love the butler! He's like, yeah, let's go to the beer garden! I'll watch over Anya if you want to go with them, Lloyd. Thank you, Yorick. Dude! 
Dan Lloyd is like, yeah, I'm going to beer garden. Okay, Becky, let's uh, go. Okay, Becky, let's go see how compatible we are. Um, Marta, please watch over Becky. Um, of course, Ms. Mrs. Blackwell. What? Okay, I think he's just talking to his wifey and not his daughter. And this is just a typo. Like, I think it is. Because <sighs> I was like, hey, wait a minute. What? Nah. Okay. This is... It, it, it took me a second. Will you boys be getting your fortunes told? Uh, no way. Girls sure love that stupid stuff. Well... There's no way uh, the, for um, uh, the fortunes are accurate. Uh, it's totally unscientific. Uh, if it helps to put one's mind at ease, where's the harm in it? Oh my gosh, just look at the line for uh, Magical Crowley. Um, uh, they've got to be the most popular uh, fortune teller. Oh dear, they certainly charge a lot for it, and we'd make the others. Wait, I don't know about this. Let's just do this one instead. Luna Luna Selena, uh, looks like she's new. Um, what? She doesn't even charge? There's no way her predictions are accurate. Uh, oh my gosh, she even wrote it right there. My predictions are way off. Sorry. Um, yeah, but we can, uh, buy more festival snacks with the money we saved. That sounds good to me. Oh, Anya, does the way, um, oh, Anya, does the way, uh, to your everything rather you stuck? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, sit, sit yourself, but I think I'll go with this middle, uh, ranked one here. Um, catch you later. Yep. Ooh, okay, there's a reason why this is happening. Um, excuse us, Miss Selena? Huh? There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Oh, sorry, um, you're here for reading? I'm coming. Oh, whoa! Oh, are you okay, man? Sorry, just a little sleep deprived, hmm? <gasps> Yours that you want? Huh, what, Belinda? The War of the Friendship Schemes? Friendship Schemes? Oh my, fuck you, Viz Local Area Server, but OMG. Oh my god, it's Mother Desmond! An unexpected encounter. Why is she a fortune teller? Dude! Fate! This is fate, man. But why is she sleep deprived? The wheels of fate are, dude, this is the wheels of fate here at work. Remember what I've been, we've, at least I've been theorizing. I hope more people, uh, dude, I can't be the only one theorizing this. I can't be the only one theorizing that when shit hits the fan, and it's only a matter of time that shit hits the fan. Um, that, uh, that, uh, Mama Desmond and, uh, Damien are going to flee Estonia and, uh, um, and they're gonna, and it's going to be, when uh, Papa Desmond finds out the truth about Anya, and when that happens, they're gonna go, they're gonna flee with Anya and the Fortress and uh, Mama Desmond and uh, um, and Damien are going to flee Astania and get to Westalis, and they're going to use the route that uh, Martha took. Like everything is setting up for this. And I feel like Mama Desmond is planning it too. Like she is waiting, she's buying her time for the right moment. And I feel like, and remember, we saw that she, we know that she's been talking to uh, to the butler too, uh, kind of talking to her, uh, to him about this too. And the reason why she, uh, like the reason why I'm saying that she's gonna be there with uh, Damien specifically is because, and, she might not be with him, but the reason why I say she is going to be with him, it all goes back to that job that Yor did so long ago when she helped that mafia, um, uh, that mafia daughter, the mafia boss's daughter and her son escape, um, Estania. It all goes back to that. 
that foreshadowed it, at least in my opinion. And plus, remember what Mama Desmond said? Um, we saw Anya when she, Anya read her mind. And she said that Damien was the only one that basically wasn't tainted. And she was going to do everything within her power to get him out of, uh, um, of this fuckery. I'm telling you, the wheels of fate are turning. Once it's going to be once they find, well, Damien obviously already knows the truth about Anya. Damien's like the only one that knows the truth about Anya. Once the, once Papa Desmond finds out the truth about Anya, and once we get the full connection, kind of like um, here's the best comparison to this actually is uh, um. Kind of like what we're seeing in Tokyo Underworld right now. Which, by the way, if you are not reading that manga, holy shit, why? The Tokyo Underworld's fucking amazing. Um, once we get, like, the full connection on how... And this is what I'm thinking is going to be the case. Because we're seeing it here. This chapter kind of revealed it. How, um, how the Desmond group is essentially tied to everything. It's all connected to the Desmond group. Kind of like how we saw... Um, uh, we saw Inferno, which is the um, which is the group that basically caused a lot of the fuckery in Tokyo Underworld. That's what I, I feel like that's going to be what it, we're going to find out how the Desmond group is essentially tied to everything, including and we kind of seen it to an extent with uh, the experiments um, with Anya. But we're going to see how it is tied to everything. And I think once that happens, and I think, again, it's all going to happen when um, we get the truth about Anya, um, when the truth about Anya, like, fully comes out, that's when shit's going to really hit the fan. The, the, what I think is going to happen in regards to that, and if I'm going to make the Tokyo Underworld comparison, I think Damien is, if, um, uh, if Papa Desmond has written everything down like in a diary, kind of like what we saw with, uh, um, uh, with, uh, with Lucifer. Oh, God, that twist. That fucking twist in Tokyo Underworld, man. Ah, the Animal Exorcist Realness twist was just so epic. Um, if we have something similar to that, um, where we have like uh, Papa Desmond writing everything, documenting everything down, like whether it's a journal or like or um, something else, and it's in his office, and Damien comes across it in his office, and we and he finds out everything, and he sees how uh, Anya is connected to all of this. That's when shit is going to hit the fan. That's when it will all hit the fan, and then. Well, probably what will happen after that is Damien, the next day, Damien will be flipping out, like, he will, like, be, he will be freaking out at school. Like, he will, he will look visibly uncomfortable or, like, something, and Anya will read his mind, and he will look at Anya, and Anya will find, and will see the truth when, when, uh, you know, she reads his mind, and then, then... That's when the shit will hit the fan even more. That's when it will really go in full swing, especially if, um, well, it'd be a matter of when at that point, when Papa Desmond finds out, or he'll fuck, he'll bust Damien in the office. And then um, Damien not being at uh, uh, Eden. Yeah. Um, then it'll, that's when things will get, then you could see like something where um, the uh, Austinian army or, or the, um, then you'd see Austinia like try to uh, take, uh, um, take Anya into custody, shit like that. That's why I'm like, I feel like we're getting closer and closer to this point. Like, that's why I'm like, when we see uh, Melinda as this fortune teller here, it's like the wheels of fate are turning. Does she know the truth about Anya? I don't know. I don't know. Does the butler know the truth about um, about Lloyd? Maybe it is a maybe, but I don't. But I don't think so. I think it's just this is a happy accident kind of. It could be they could know the truth about Lloyd and they could know the truth about Yor. But I feel I feel like this is this could also be like a 
hap- it could be a happy accident kind of situation. But I feel like it's all setting up for when everything is setting up for when shit hits the fan and they have to flee Astania. But when shit hits, but as I said, shit will hit the fan. Kind of, it'll, it'll be like, um, like what we saw in Tokyo Underworld when we see how everything connects to uh, the Desmond group. And again, we've seen little bits of pieces of it, kind of like, again, in Tokyo Underworld, where we uh, saw little bits of pieces of how Inferno was connecting to the um, different um, different executioners, like, say, uh, uh, like, say, Nero and then Gomon. We, we started seeing a little bit of that up in there. We did. And also, um, and Enra and... Um, and Enra as well. But then when we got that final piece, rec- um, like uh, yesterday, when we got that final piece, though, of the puzzle, that's when it really hit the fan. And that's when, like, I could I could see something similar. Well, obviously, it won't be supernatural, obviously. I could see something similar happening here in, uh, um, in Spy Family. I can but I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. Um, what do you guys think is go- I think the catalyst is it is coming, but I don't know. It's a, it's a matter of when. It's not a matter of if, in my opinion. Like it's just, especially seeing Melinda here as like a, a uh, dressed up as a fortune teller. It's real and it's really and hell even last chapter too. It's really just a matter of when at this point do you think it's gonna be um like a chapter 150 that shit's gonna really hit the fan they're gonna flee do you think it's gonna be a chapter 200 like when you guys think shit is going to hit the fan and they're gonna flee um astania it's it's only a matter of time it really is It really goddamn is. And there's one other piece to this puzzle, right? And that's Yuri. Where does Yuri fit in all this? Because I think Yuri is also going to play a role in helping them escape as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Spy Family content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.